We're going to test the RX 580 with 2048 string processors in good old Fortnite. We're going to test it on build, no build, on DX12, and on performance mode. And performance mode is definitely going to shock you, so make sure you stay to the end of the video so you don't miss out those high FPS numbers we got with this crazy cheap graphics card. We're going to show you all the settings that we use throughout the video, so let's take a look at our test bench. Now this test bench and this beautiful white PC features a Ryzen 7 3700X with 16 gigs of RAM running at 3200 megahertz. I know this CPU is a little overkill for this GPU in particular, but Fortnite is a CPU. CPU based game so we went with a good processor and we had it on a trade-in laying around so we thought it'd be a good idea to use it and of course we're using this graphics card that was sent to us by Artius if you want to pick up one of these bad boys by the end of the video the link will be down in the description they are on Amazon for $110 fairly cheap graphics card but I'll let you be the judge if it's worth it I am a boomer so I'll be playing on controller oh we got to turn on the MSI afterburner what do we do okay our settings are at 1080p DirectX 12 all right and to start with we're gonna play on the epic set just the way they are with this TSR epic all the way up shadows we do have geometry turned off we're gonna max everything out absolutely everything and it is absolutely gonna kill this GPU so we're just gonna see what happens here see we already got 40 FPS coming out of the battle bus this is not gonna be pretty I'll tell you that much right now so as we're skydiving here we got 32 33 35 nobody's landing with me so that's good we can really kind of just test this thing out. there's no weapons there all right here's a rifle so we've landed and we've got 38 fps that's what it looks like 38 37 it did pick that up but it did not look like it and this is uh would not be a fun experience i'll tell you that right now 37 38 fps but, I mean, really, unless you've got like a 4090, you're probably not going to play Fortnite on this kind of settings. Even looking at the sky here, we only got like 45, 46 FPS. See if we can win a fight here in this low FPS numbers. Dude, he lays at me. Okay, so sometimes Fortnite will just like to do something, you know, a little crazy on the first game. So we're going to jump into one more just to make sure we get these true FPS numbers here on these epic settings. And uh, we're going to, there's, there's some traffic there. So we're going to go to Flush Factory. See what happens. Good old Flush. Um, Still getting about the same as we land though. So it's probably not going to be a whole lot different. All right. Yep. Still. Oh my gosh, man. Goodness gracious, man. So if anybody ever tells you that they're running on, you know, epic settings, all epic settings, and they're getting a high FPS number, they're probably lying because you just saw how bad it actually is when you have all of this stuff turned on. All right, so what we're going to do here is we're going to turn anti-aliasing and the super resolution off. Let's see if we can actually, you know, hit anybody. So already with turning that off, we got to 60 FPS, at least on the battle bus here dropping out. We got like 44, 45. So that's, you know, to be expected here on these higher settings. Again, people think AMD GPUs are run better on DX12, and that may be true for some of the newer GPUs, but performance mode is still going to be really nice. So make sure you stay tuned to the end so you can watch that so here as we are moving around here a little bit we've got like 50 to got him let's go 50 to you know 45 50 fps so it's a little better so not a ton different here with the epic settings let's change the settings now and the next thing that's a huge deal is this illumination and reflections and uh it's giving us a stable 60 all right so if you wanted to play fortnite and make it look a little prettier you know this is kind of like the console experience here i guess the old school console experience uh which is not terrible you know that feels like you're on the old xbox one ps4 vibes it's gonna struggle to stay at that 50 i mean that 60 the whole time Let's see if we can go find a, a fight with this FPS number, see how it feels. Oh, now here we went to oh, see if we could find go. a fight to see if it would stay at that solid 60, and I fought a bot here, and it was absolutely horrendous. It took me forever to get the oh, Elim, God. but it did stay around 60. 54 was the lowest that it dropped, so that's not terrible here in these settings. Woo, I'm glad this dude's a bot. Almost died to a bot. Uh, 60 FPS though. That's 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 pretty crazy. All right. If you're liking this video so far, do us a favor and smash that like button. And if you just like building PCs on a budget or look for budget options when upgrading your PC, then you're gonna want to make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of our fun here on the channel. Okay. So now the last thing you want to turn off is the shadows. Those those things I call those the FPS killers. They absolutely kill FPS, and we're gonna turn all of that. So now we have just epic, but we turn all the extra stuff off, and let's see how that affects our FPS. As you can see here, we get really close to that 100 mark when we turn all of those FPS killers off. 
So with the FPS killers off, everything else on Epic, you know, we got about 70-ish FPS as we land out of the battle bus. So definitely less stuttery there. So it's not a huge deal. So it looks as though 80 or 90 FPS is going to kind of be our maximum top out here in this area. When you're inside the buildings, it goes up to 100. But obviously inside the buildings, there's less going on. And so we're not going to you know get those numbers consistently so the next thing that i think affects your fps the most are the effects and the post processing so we're going to turn both those on low keep the view distance and textures on epic and that's pretty much where we're at right now with these settings and we're going to see how it goes as we're making our way slowly over to tilted towers because we couldn't find any movement we're getting around 140 fps except when i slide here you know it drops down some 115 110 through those little areas we'll see what it's like when we get in a fight over here and as you can see, as we fight on top of this building, it dropped to like 118, but stayed around 130 some too. So our last FPS test here on no build is to put everything off or on low, except for the view distance, we're going to put it on far, see what the best case scenario for DX12 is. Then what we're going to do is we're going to hop into a build mode game on the same settings. We're not going to go back through everything again, but we're going to see if that changes anything when it comes to the FPS numbers playing build versus no build. And then we're going to hop into performance mode and see what the difference is there as well. All right, so it looks like we're getting around 135 to 140 ish on the FPS numbers here. One thing to note in Fortnite is when you're inside a building fighting, the FPS tends to be a little bit higher. So don't be skewed by the fact that we are in the high 140s to the low 150s here during this fight here where I play Ring Around the Rosie with this guy and he ultimately hits me with a purple spaz. All right, so here we're going to hop into build mode to see if it makes any difference with the FPS. We got like 130 to 160, somewhere around in there on no build. We'll see what build mode does for us. So far, it's about the same off the battle bus. But again, we're not really going to know until we actually get in a fight and start building. Haha, <laughs> let's go. So, so far, it, we, I guess our top end FPS is a little bit higher, but that's just because I think we're maybe we're just the spot of the map that we're on. It's higher in the air, so that makes sense, really. Since the FPS seemed to be a lot higher there on the Viking Village, we rifted and went to Pleasant Park since that was the same place we were earlier in no build to see how the FPS compared to get a better true comparison. The dude on top of the house lasered me pretty good, so the fight wasn't really that long, but as you can see, the FPS was more similar to what we got during the no-build games, which was around that 120 to 130 mark, with some jumps up to 150 or 160 FPS. So there wasn't a lot of difference in build mode versus no build mode, maybe two or three FPS, give or take, but that's just, you know, an error that could happen in any game mode that we're going to play. All right, so now the test is to see exactly what it's going to be like on performance mode. So we're going to put it on performance mode. We're going to restart the app and we're going to see what happens. And we played several games on performance mode because the FPS really varied depending on where we were on the map. So I'll walk you through here the few games that we played and tell you what I saw. All right, so we're playing build mode on performance mode. So performance mode, here's our settings. We get a few distance on far textures on low meshes on low we're just gonna see what happens already looking really good with 210 180 so i'll be honest with you my building skills need some work because i haven't done it in a while but i wanted you to see the fps numbers because a lot of you do play build mode and you want those high fps numbers here i fought this bot and it's kind of embarrassing but i just wanted you to see the fps here on this part of the map we stayed around 150 to 160 during this fight then I got pushed by a mega sweat, misplaced my build, or ran out of builds, can't really tell, and I died. My terrible luck continues here in Salty Springs as we land and almost immediately get shot at and pushed by a sweat. But you can see the FPS stays around 170, 180, which is promising here me? on performance mode, even though we do have a really good CPU. And what is a Fortnite test without testing tilted tires? So that's where we hop next. Um, there are literally 4,000 people here, and I'm not sure, you know, if there's anyone left on the battle bus. Gliding out of the battle bus on performance mode, you're getting over 100 FPS. It's not super important, but it is nice to be able to see everything around you. Once we landed in Tilted Towers, it did stable out, and we got anywhere from like 160 to 170, with a couple of dips here while we're running in this building and getting pushed by the sweat into the 130s and 140s. I've literally lost count of how many runs we've tried to do on performance mode where we can actually survive out of the spawn. So with this last game, we landed at Lonely Lodge just to see if we could make it to an end game and try to get an actual dub and see what the FPS was like late in the game. On the outside of the map, it seemed that the FPS numbers were higher in the 215 to 220 range with some drops into the 180s. I think a lot of this had to do with the GPU being just an older, weaker GPU, so maybe it couldn't hold steady at those frame rates, or it could be the CPU that couldn't hold steady. 
Not really sure, so your results are going to vary depending on the hardware that you use behind this graphics card. So at the worst case scenario, you could definitely just cap it at like 165 FPS, and I think you would have a very smooth and playable experience. But if you're wanting a little bit smoother experience in Fortnite, you could look at a beefier graphics card or a beefier build overall, like this one. I just fell to my... Ah!